All right, so you're gonna need an Allen, uh, eighth inch Allen wrench and then a T30 Torx bit to get it all switched around. So you'll start, you'll pull out the lever first, kind of tip it up and you can save the washers onto the top of the lever. And I'll pull out and you'll do this front bolt, your, your other tensioning bolt. Pull that one all the way out. And you keep those washers stacked onto those bolts. And you'll have three more washers fall out when you pull that top piece off. And those all come out of there. And you'll take your T30, loosen these two bolts on the back. To the side. Now, those washers taken off, you're going to pull these legs off. And so, both legs have holes in them. Um, so, you're just going to reverse the orientation and basically flip them. So, if you want quick deploy in the back, so your 45 is in the front, you'll take this leg, line up those pins, make sure that spring stays in there, line up those pins, slide this one on. And you'll take this leg, slide it on. And when you're putting these together, you want to make sure your angles are the same because there's a chance you could put it on and their angles will be off. So you want to make sure they're at the same angle once you're getting them slid in there together. Now, it's just reassembly. So you can take these washers, put them back on. Take this top plate with the counter bores down. Take your T30s, start threading them back in. Don't thread them down too tight because you're going to want to have a little bit of room to put the washers back in. Um, so now you you have your three leftover washers. So you'll take those and there's a counter bore down in here. You wanna put a washer in that one. And then in the bottom of this, you'll have another counter bore you wanna stick one up into and kind of hold it there. And then in this top piece, you have another counter bore with the, with the logo facing this top plate. You wanna stick your last washer in that piece. So it's all there. And holding this one, you slide this piece over the top of all of it. And you take this screw with these washers stacked in and then thread that all back together. And then once you kind of get that done, you can retighten the T30s. And this screws your pretension. So you can go ahead and tighten this to however, however tight you want it. So if you don't want to mess with the, mess with your lever, you can adjust the tension with just using this screw and use the lever to lock it out. So once you get all those in, it's just putting your lever back in on the back side. That's it.